people wanted to know the difference mm -hmm. between introversion and depression. Mm. And for me, I thought, why? Those are two Completely separate things. Different. But people confuse them all of the time. I can't imagine why they do. I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, it's like, Confusing a banana and a chocolate cake. That's the way I look like at it. Like it's could they could not be yeah. different. Although you eat them both, that's right. it. You know, so I I think that a big issue is that introversion. Couple of things. It's a very pathologized pattern in our society, right? Um, we view it as somebody who is. We don't value people who want to be alone, and we view depression as being consistent with social withdrawal. A person who's depressed is going to retreat to their home. They're not going to come out. They're going to close the blinds. That's not what an introvert does. An introvert's got the windows open. Mm -hmm. Introverts are just fine. They are not, they are not depressed. They are not sad. It's, I, I think a term that has actually come up in past classes on med circle, it's a fancy term called egosyntonic. Okay. Egosyntonic merely means that the state you're in is consistent with who you are, like it's good. So introversion is by and large an egosyntonic state. Introverts are cool. In fact, the only reason they're not cool is people telling them it's not cool, but otherwise they're like, yeah, I'm kind of feeling this. Like this works for me, please let me be. Yeah. That's not depressed. Nobody who's depressed is that ever egosyntonic. Nobody right. wants to be depressed. So they're really unrelated. Now, can an introvert be depressed? Sure, but so too can an extrovert. That's right. So, I mean, it's, it's sort of an equal opportunity mental illness. Yes, yes. Now, how does an introvert compare to someone with social anxiety? Okay, so Irene told me something brilliant. She, this is how. And in it, case it, someone it, skipped our first okay. session. Okay. Oh, so yes, I will. So yeah. my graduate student and and assistant and introvert expert extraordinaire, um, Irene Hernandez, taught me this beautiful way of remembering it. I want to give her credit because it's it's really it's lovely. It's introversion is your way, social anxiety is in your way. And Wait, say it again, though. Introversion is your way. Is your way, yeah. Social anxiety is in your way. Got it. Okay? Got it. So introversion is simply who you are. Yeah. A person with introversion may not necessarily be socially anxious. Social anxiety is characterized by almost a fear of being criticized, ridiculed, or looking foolish in a social situation, and it's a real concern with being scrutinized. Now that's not to say your average bear who's an introvert wants to get up and talk in front of a thousand people. That's in fact where you and I who are both introverts may be a little bit of an anomaly. But the fact is though that they are not, if they go and they're with a group of people, they're not sitting there the whole time wondering, do people dislike me? Now is it possible for an introvert to be socially anxious? Absolutely. It's not synonymous though. And I think a mistake that people make is that she's introverted, so she's afraid of people. That's not true at all. She's introverted because she's introverted. Right. That's it. So my friend invited me to Coachella, the mm -hmm. big musical festival oh, in California. I said, I don't want to go to that because that seems like a terrible way to spend money and time. <laughs> and why are you laughing? I'm thinking like the, the introversion rates at Coachella have to be less than 1%. Not, right, exactly. <laughs> so. And so I said, no, I don't want to go. So my friend goes and then texts me and goes, you would hate it here. Oh, yeah. Because they know how I would react in that group. That doesn't mean I had a fear of no, going, no, or I thought if no. I go, people won't think I'm cool, or I'm right, going right. to be judged because mm -hmm. I'm not a music fan. I just didn't want to be there. It was not my way. That's right. Yes. That's right. Okay. Social anxiety did not get in my way in that example. And, well, that's a beautiful example. That, and if for some reason you had to go to Coachella, like we did Med Circle yeah, Coachella series, yeah, right? Yeah. You would go, you would do your job, but you'd probably be pretty tired at the end of it. So it's enough, and you wouldn't be anxious. You would just say, this isn't really my scene, but you'd go, you'd go with it. But you would not, a person with social anxiety at Coachella would be anxious. Their heart might even be racing. They might even sometimes have symptoms of panic attacks. They may be worried that everyone is staring at them and making fun of them and they'd be afraid to talk because they're afraid they'd look foolish. That's not what your experience would be. That's right. And I think if we only do one thing in this session is to debunk these myths about introverts because it really breaks my heart to think about how many people out there who are introverted who actually think there's something wrong with mm. them. It's, it's like saying somebody has brown eyes that there's something wrong with them. It's who you are. It's a trait. It's a quality. And I think that it's just that we happen to be an extroverted society, certainly at least in the United States. So we celebrate it. You, it's like you are taking 
the words out of my brain and speaking them. Good. It, it's so, it, but it makes me feel good. good. It's such a relief. Yeah. Because you're right. If I did go do a med circle class, mm -hmm. by the way, Callie's here. She's yeah. an extrovert. Okay. She's just <laughs> like all dogs. <laughs> Like all dogs, extrovert. We, we said on the break, cats are introverts, mm. dogs are extroverts. Mm -hmm. But if I had to go to the, do the med circle thing, I would be exhausted at yeah. the end. Exhausted mm -hmm. because I would have to mm -hmm. be yeah. extroverted yeah. and put Absolutely. it all out Absolutely. And I feel the same way. When I spend a whole, whole day on a shoot, yeah. I'm making a documentary or something like that, and I'm with a big crew and everything, I'm, I'm tired at the end. Yeah. 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 Does depression look differently in an introvert than it does in any other person? I think in a person who's introverted, there may be some risks. For example, when a person becomes depressed and they have friends or loved ones around them, they, one of the first things we may notice is social withdrawal. But if an introvert is already keeping to themselves, there may, that pattern may not be as pronounced in them, right? Because they're already kind of like prefer, prefer time alone. And so some patterns might get mi missed. I think though for an introvert, you would see the same patterns of sadness and loss of pleasure and changes in you know, how they think and perceive the world and all of that. What they may be less likely to do is reach out to people and talk about it. Mm -hmm. So other people may not hear about it as quickly because that may not, even if they're on a good day, they may be less likely to do that because just less likely of what, th what they might do. But that said, it doesn't mean that a person who's introverted won't seek out help. People with depression are simply less likely to sometimes seek out help because they are sort of feeling ineffective and apathetic and exhausted. But since people who are introverted maintain perfectly fine close, close relationships, they may feel comfortable saying, you know, I don't, I don't feel great. However, for an introvert, therapy and making a new relationship with a therapist, there may be a little bit more of a step back from that and more reluctance and sort of a slower drive to get in and for therapy to take hold doesn't mean it can't work and can't work beautifully. I've worked with many introverted clients actually there. Once we make the connection, it's wonderful. It's great. You know, they really use the space well, but it, some of these things just take a little bit longer. That's it seems really though it. that an introvert would be more likely to socially isolate. They're always going to be less socially active. So uh -huh. I think it's socially isolated almost actually feels more of like a pathologized term, mm -hmm. they may do less of that kind of putting themselves out there with other people. Isolation almost feels like I'm cutting myself off from the world. They're actually just, I'm pretty content to be at home. So Got does it. that make sense? It's not like I'm locking the doors against the world. It does make sense. And the, the reason I'm speaking from personal experience so much is because I both have had depression and I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have noticed that I will socially isolate, but that is a symptom of depression, depression. not Bingo. introversion. That's the point. So yeah. you will socially isolate in, in the name of the depression. Yes. But when you're not depressed, you won't socially isolate. That's right. You'll have the same level of social engagement as you did before. That is such a big moment for me and mm -hmm. anybody else who's an introvert with depression, mm -hmm. I would imagine, because mm -hmm. I can recognize the difference between social isol isolation mm. and just preferring to spend yes. the night by yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's a huge feeling yeah. that the difference That's is right. between. And so if I'm noticing myself on the social isolation mm -hmm. point, I think there would be a part of me before this moment that would have said, well, no, that's just because you're an introvert. Yeah. yeah. And you're, mm -hmm. you're ignoring the red flag. Mm -hmm. What that is, no, mm -hmm. your depression that's right. is, is, is acting up. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. Big. It's a big one. You know, I think many times, People who are introverted often feel sort of unheard and unrepresented mm -hmm. in a lot of the conversations and writings about mental health because it, it just it feels sometimes it's different and their experience isn't represented. So mm -hmm. I, I hope that's an important takeaway.